Hi, my name is Timothy and I'm from the Philippines. I use this modified Dremel CNC to make my own frames using carbon fiber. It's been a year since I announced my Dremel CNC project on my YouTube channel and a lot happened throughout this year. Almost 1 million views on YouTube, 4,000 members in the Facebook group and a lot, a lot of CNC machines built all around the world. A lot of remixes, new designs and mounts for different tools. Also, grand prize in the Epilog contest and over 100,000 views on Instructables. So far, that's the biggest project of my life. I wanted to say thank you to every single one of you for contributing to the project, helping each other out, watching my videos and supporting my work. It really means a lot. Thank you. This project started just like any other project of mine, a 3D printed CNC machine. You know, nothing really revolutionary, there's already quite a lot of CNC machines online that are 3D printed. But what makes this project so special is the simplicity of the design. I really focused right from the beginning, from the start of designing, on the simplicity of the design and on the easiness of reproducing it for everyone all around the world. And I think that's what makes this project so special. With those things in mind, I created a CNC machine that can mill aluminum. It's not designed to mill aluminum, I mean, don't get me wrong, it can pretty easily handle aluminum with proper settings, just the results are not as shiny as with professional CNC machines. As for now, I think there is no reason to redesign the Dremel CNC or create another version of Dremel CNC. It's better to keep it simple so that beginners without any confusion can start making CNC machine on a low budget and create their own machine, I think it's time to create another project. Bigger aluminum profiles, NEMA 23 steppers, ball screws, linear arrays, and bigger or maybe even a lot bigger spindle. What's the name of this project? I'm not sure yet. I was thinking about Indie Mill because this open source independent milling machine and that sounds kind of cool. Uh, let me know what you think about this idea or if you have another in the comments. This machine will be a lot better for metal work and maybe we'll even go beyond aluminum with this machine. The only problem is that it's not going to be as inexpensive as drama CNC and that's why I want to ask you for help. In the description you can find a link to my Patreon account. I was thinking a lot about starting a Patreon. I think that this is a good decision at this point. I'm not sure about the content for Patreon, so I can't promise you anything about the Patreon content, but what I can promise you is that I'm not going to limit any of my videos, projects, designs, anything to Patreons only. So if you still want to use my designs, my projects, watch my videos, and you don't want to support my work, no problem. But if you feel like it, it would be nice to support my work. That's it for this video, I just wanted to sum up this year with the Dremel CNC, say thank you and announce the new CNC project. In a moment I will show you a sneak peek of the new design, it's not ready yet, I still have to finish designing, order all of the parts and then it will take about a month to ship them to me and I will make few videos just like with the Dremel CNC about building this project. So stay tuned for that, thanks for watching, happy making, thanks for this year with Dremel CNC, bye! <laughs>